Welcome back to Because We Got High with Rhea, Kelly, and Bree. We have reached episode J. This podcast is presented to you by OCB Rolling Papers, the best rolling papers in all of the land. Think of yourself. Think of yourself in Candyland, which is a great game. Candyland. And if you That's picture yourself as a, a little name. piece in the world of Candyland and you're walking around, you walk into a store and you need rolling papers and you're like, I'm going to explore Candyland. Which ones are you going to choose? You're going to choose the OCB rolling papers, possibly the bamboo, possibly the organic hemp. The cones are so easy to use. Just stuff those bad boys right away. And then you're smoking. That's all I smoke. That's all these two smoke. We slap the other shit out of people's hands. We say, get that shit out of our faces. I don't need that jank shit. Be gone. Never. Be gone. Thoughts? Be gone. We only want the OCB rolling paper. So go to ocbusa.com slash high. Get yourself a nice deal. You'll get booklets, a rolling tray, all for way less money than you usually would. So make sure you go to ocbusa.com slash high and get yourself those OCB rolling papers. Smoke what we are smoking. This episode is the J episode. We're talking jokes. We were like, what the <laughs> fuck are we going to do? Are we going to get up here and tell jokes? Are we going to get other people to tell jokes? And we almost, we the, almost did. We yeah, were gonna there's have a little workshopping three, with this. Like do a little set, but we realized it would probably be so cringe and not what we wanted. It wouldn't be funny. Uh, you know, but you guys, I was kind of with I you, Kelly. Kelly, so, Kelly, I was so, kind of with you. I the, a little the, bit. The stand up thing was way. the stand up thing was your idea. I thought it was an amazing idea. I was okay. like, that's hysterical, and Thanks. it would be really hard. Showbiz, it, babes. It reminded me, yeah, you know, you know, I, I love theatrics. Mm-hmm. I I think it would have been, it would have fallen somewhere on the line of like our table reads. It would have yeah. been like cool that we did that, but it's a little visual, weird. Visual, not an episode. Yeah, yes. better visual, not episode. Yeah. Which, uh, but I'm still, you know, like maybe maybe we can still do it at some point. Not at some point, <laughs> but not right. It, it, we, not right now. Though. I think not we would have overthought today. it. People would have been like, "This is uncomfortable." People, here's the problem: people would have thought that we we were going to be too serious. Yeah. Like people would have taken yeah. it too seriously and have been like, you guys are not funny. I just when feel like, why couldn't we say, hey, we're not being that serious. We're, we've never done this just, before. And now that we've t- we're talking about it, maybe in the future we can do it. Because yeah, okay. people will be this like, oh, okay, it would be funny. It's not like we think we're stand-up comics. Yeah, no. Comics. We don't. But that's the funny thing too. Like us trying to do it would be like, oh, okay, yeah. funny. But what if we fucking crushed it? I feel like I would fucking crush it. That's, I, I think, why I'm so upset about like, it. Out. Yeah. I think I would really crush it. I don't think I would crush in like an actual stand up comedian mm-hmm. situation. Like, I if I was up on stage, camp, like, I'd be so nervous. I'd be really nervous. If nobody laughed, I would Eat kill myself. Like, that would just be the end of it. I'd be dead for real. But I really think that if in this setting where I feel comfortable, I think that I could write a couple jokes. Even and in say the them. glass cage. I, even this more is, so, I feel the most. You know, I love the glass, the glass cage. cage. No, I know what a stand-up. Set I love the glass cage. The yes, way you said I would love the glass to do cage. Glass cage. Let's start hosting shows in the glass cage. Yeah, this cage. is called I the like glass, glass cage. cage. Now. We should start no, having here people out, pay us at the door. Yeah, for the glass cage. When we say band. book us a room for the thing, we're saying book us the glass cage. Yeah, book us an event at the glass cage. Yeah, 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 an event at the glass cage. Wow, we're hosting an event at the glass cage tonight. Glass cage tonight. You going? You going to the glass cage? You going to the glass cage? Who's headed? You going to the glass cage? We're going to pregame before the glass cage. Great club name. The glass, the glass cage. cage. Should we? Just a whole glass club. <laughs> and it's Stop. levels. And it's just all glass. And you can that see inside. Yes. And you of can course. see outside. It's a different like theme of music on each floor. And, it's and the <gasps> wall is Wait glass. A minute. Question. Although, Have you guys seen the movie 13 Ghosts? No. Oh my I God. It's a very scary movie. You should watch it. Especially now. Halloween is fast approaching. Not really. But watch it. It's an entire glass house and, or it's not entirely glass, but it's mostly glass. And sometimes uh, like at, when the clock strikes a certain time, the walls shift and change and the house changes and uh, like ghosts come out of there, like Ooh. a different ghost like comes out of their shit. You know spooky. what I mean? It's it very scary spooky. actually. I couldn't take a, shower, a regular shower for a long time. There's a shower scene that's not what you think and it really scared me for life. But it was like that and it was cool. So what if it was a creepy glass club? We don't Thumbs want down. I want it to be fun. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to. Here's the concern. Like, okay, it can be fun. Here's the concern. Halloween time will be fun. Yeah, sorry, Halloween keep going. Back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go. No, you're go. good. If everything's glass, this is kind of Italian of me. But if there's glass floors. You could see up people's Pussies. skirts. Oh, that is yeah. true. You that is see true. Bad. You see <laughs> pussy holes. Pussy so, maybe not, so maybe we do. Maybe we do not buttholes. glass floors. Yeah. Wait, I have a little glass. Not fucking glass uh, tanks. We get tanks to separate the floor with, with fishes. Sharks? 
Okay. Oh, wow. Have Imagine. you guys ever been that to the Atlantis spooky. Bahamas? Yeah. No, I have not. Have been you there. ever gone down the slide with the glass oh, tank with the that. sharks going around it? Yeah. And you're just like <laughs> stuck in it. And you're, I've seen low. that shit. Can I tell you? I have chills. That yeah. shit's awesome. The that only reason in my up. life that I've ever like wanted to go to the Atlantis Bahamas because I remember that commercial when I was younger, advertising specifically mm-hmm. that glass slide. And I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's really like I've never gotten to see it. I must see it. long. Best slide ever. Also, what's the other leap? The leap of faith. The leap. I didn't do that. Pussy. Mm. Um, I'm just kidding. I backed down too. I got to the top and oh, I, I turned around. Try, because whenever I do those, like I used to, the ones that go straight down, it shoots up your ass. And it hurts. My spine, yes. I have like a fucked up spine what that is, sticks out wait, and gets all cut up. What is it like? Mine is the What's same. Yeah. I get my, the, b- the bidet? Bidet? A bidet. The bidet. A bidet. Oh, no, no. A bidet is. A bidet is. We all need a bidet. bidet. Yeah. It is. And then you stand up and you're queefing out water. <laughs> That's what happened. That's right. Queefing? Yeah, wait. Random. Is this about queefing? No, it's about redheads. Mm. Do all redheads love Halloween? Every redhead I've come in contact with fucking loves Halloween. Maybe. Because you were just like so like spooky. <laughs> well, so here's like the thing. I like spooky. spooky and I this year is a, is a new, first year that I've been like, I fucking love Halloween. Like okay. I, I think forever have been like, I'm not going to be the cliche bitch that's like, I love Halloween. I think it's annoying to be like that. I also think that I just have always loved scary movies and I've always been like a bit of a creep. So I feel like it kind of fits okay. now for me to yell, Can I say yell from the rooftop. I might take the wrong way, but I don't want you to take it the wrong way. <laughs> sure, Maria. Um, let's Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I feel like Halloween people and cat ladies have the same energy. Oh, can I say that? I wish, I kind of like yeah. wish I was a cat lady. I'm very allergic to cats, but I wish I could, you could like be maybe one. be one. But not the cat lady in the way of like, like old cat lady died amongst rep. her cats. They do have yeah. a bad, no. Yeah, that's cats why I'm saying rep. I don't want you smart. to take it in the wrong way. Cats cat are smart. ladies and Halloween people have the same exact vibe. Cats, are, but there's a couple kinds of cat ladies, I think. Do you agree with this? I think that there's cat lady where it's like she's old. She's wearing a flowered moo moo. She has 14 mm-hmm. cats. Yeah. There's food house everywhere. Like Their shit. house smells like urine. There's and crackers on the floor. Yes. Yeah. There's Smashed. that kind of cat lady. <laughs> and then there's the kind of cat Just lady like who's like, who's like Taylor Swift button. who has three cats. Taylor Swift has three cats. Mm-hmm. And she's a bad bitch. I don't know. A lot of people have cats that are bad bitches. They are. Yeah, Black cats, cats specifically cats are, are cool. We're not gonna, we're not My Aunt Sandy has always had cats. fuck with cats. You know who doesn't fuck with cats? Luca Magnata. Yeah. <laughs> Luca Magnata does um, not. Luca Magnata. Fuck that with name cats. sends shivers up. My Why spine? the fuck he is Luca Magnata big mentioned on this podcast multiple times? I don't know. Times. Too he, many times to count. He's he's a Luca Magnata. That name he's a notable member too. member of society. He's like a core memory at this point. Like watching Don't Fuck with Cats. I don't know. I didn't like quite believe. Me for a little bit. Yeah, I didn't quite believe people like that existed Christmas on the internet. It was, it was like like full quarantine time, right? Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, it was so. no, no, no. That came out. Was it, oh, it was Christmas that came break. out Christmas 2019, going oh, 2020. Right. So I remember right. where I watched it, which was at a ski house. That's where I was uh, that year. Yes, yes, and yes. Creepy vibes watching that mm. at a ski house. Super yeah. creepy vibes. Yeah, especially because he's he Luca loves, Magnata. He loves a cabin. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That guy's that's fucking crazy. That's, like that's how he says it, right? He does. He says Magnata. like Luca, Luca Magnata. Luca Magnata. Luca Magnata. I feel Imagine like like somebody like <laughs> coming and being like Luca Magnata. Luca Magnata. <laughs> it's like a spooky name. <laughs> That's a Halloween. Show. Luca Magnata. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Luca. <laughs> the next time I have sex with someone, I'm just like, <laughs> they're about to come and say, say Luca Magnata. <laughs> say it. Say I it. dare say you. I dare you to say years. that. Is he dead or is he in jail? He's in Yo, he was know. so happy. I thought he though. was in jail. Yeah, do you remember fucked. how he's happy so he was, fucked. smiling ear to ear when the paparazzi got him? Because he was like, "Finally, people know me." He just wanted to be. Yeah, famous. he All just, he just wanted to be known. <laughs> he just wanted to be heard, and that's why today's lesson is: do not neglect your friends or anybody in your life, because they might end up like Luca Magnata. Was that a lesson you just pulled out of yeah. your ass? Yeah, right yeah. Now? I just made that up. <laughs> okay. That today's no, today's you don't think that applies? No, no I, I just didn't know. I didn't know that was today's lesson. No, no, I just made that up. There could be multiple lessons okay. per episode. All right. Well, this one's about jokes. I feel like uh, my favorite thing to do in the entire world is joke around. <laughs> I love joking around. You? Not you. I, it's my favorite thing to do. You're not I a jokester. I can't take a single thing seriously. It's almost a problem. It is a problem for me. Actually. A huge problem. I can't take anything. Anything. Seriously. My family's so concerned. They're like. You don't take anything seriously. It seems like a sign that something, like a storm is coming. Yes. Like a, it's almost like. Yeah. But I've always been like that. So I don't know. I, I kind of feel the same way. It's like, okay, well, if I keep joking around, then everything's going to continue to be funny. If I don't joke, I'm going to be a depression. Right. Ball. Right. Yeah. So why can't we just keep joking around here? 
But and I'm like, if we don't take anything seriously, then nothing serious. Yeah. Like I'll take a funeral seriously. If, barely. I was gonna say, like, would you? <laughs> I'm trying to think how to even put into words. Like, yeah, I I, I also joke about everything. I think I will try to be serious about things something will come through and I'm like wow this is really fucking serious like Kelly grow up like be an adult and then I'll start thinking about like the funny thoughts that branch mm-hmm. off of it and I'm like well like this person's dead but like oh I bet their parents are like pissed about it or they have to deal with the funeral I think about like the practical the logistics. things yeah, the yeah. logistics and it no longer makes it sad or serious and then I start mm. I go into like a joke pattern what about like if you're in a situation and something serious happens but it's also really funny are you good at putting on a serious face or are you walking out of the room laughing because a situation happened recently where oh my god this person got hurt and everyone (laughs) everyone was very serious Gia was there everyone everyone was very serious and making sure this person was okay I had to excuse myself from the household because I couldn't stop laughing. If I How are you in that think, situation? If I, if I see someone else laughing, no, I can't make eye contact because yes. of them, my cheeks start going Exactly. Oh, exactly. Right I got to get out. I got to get out. Yeah. It's when you make eye contact with somebody else that finds it funny that you're fucked. You're, yeah. You got to get out but of there. But I'm right. always trying. I try not to laugh. And then I make like the face where I'm like <laughs> quivering and then it looks like I'm crying. Yeah. yeah like I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to hold it. I'm right. Like, you're like so upset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go away. It's bad. <laughs> trying really hard. Yeah. I don't know. I think that it depends on who, who it is it's happening to. If it's like a stranger and I'm with like one of my friends and, and like you said they start laughing I'm gonna start laughing if it's someone I know and they're like really really hurt I'm like oh fuck and then I'm like <laughs> they're oh, not fuck they're you're not really, really hurt. hurt like something's wrong like, something's wrong but even I feel like even if one of my friends is really hurt like I'm gonna help them but I'm gonna be like what I'm gonna be fuck? laughing if yeah. Grace yeah. cut her toe off it would I'd be, be like, fucking oh, hilarious fuck. I'd be like you yeah. lost your fucking toe girl. <laughs> like, Dude, like can you believe this is happening right I'd now? Like, be wrapping it up but like crying laughing yeah 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 like holy shit I can't believe you're doing this also though I don't think I would want I think if my friends uh especially were like actually scared and serious in a moment where something scared. shitty was happening yeah. to me I'd be like oh fuck like this and is real oh my god yeah then you just panic so I think I I prefer jokes I like to turn everything into a joke right I, I prefer to make everything in my life seem funny yeah like oh that would you know like oh that's bad but it would be funny yeah do you guys mm-hmm. have people in your life that just can't take a fucking joke have you ever like yeah met someone that literally can't take I wouldn't say they're they're in my life per se because yeah. people got it. People have to yeah. figure it out. But I but I have you know I have people in my life that I have to deal with that mm-hmm. can't take a joke or that just don't get it. Like sometimes you you say something or I'm always really sarcastic or I say stuff under my breath or whatever. And if it's not heard, it sounds ridiculous or like the first part of it sounded ridiculous. Like sometimes you know it's easier to misunderstand when you mm-hmm. don't like get what I'm saying. There's nothing worse than a joke going over someone's head. Oh, and then you oh, and then you try to explain the joke and, and it's not funny anymore. Into a rabbit hole, right? And it's like, never oh. funny. And then and some, you're just like, I don't even feel like explaining this joke to you. Yeah, never mind. Right. Never mind. You it's like you're too it. stupid to get this joke. Yeah, that's that's the mindset I immediately adapt. So we told people here that we wanted them to make us laugh. Yeah, basically a bunch we of clowns. We did do that. This is an office of jokesters. It's it is an office of, of funny people. It wouldn't be right if we didn't bring people in to tell jokes on no. the jokes. And we just wanted them to tell one joke. One yeah. joke. Their best joke that they got up their sleeve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're wanting them to do that. Do we want to jump into that? Or can I list a couple of types of jokes for you guys just to get your quick thoughts on them? Let's do it. List them. All right. Inside jokes. Best. Those are my personal favorite. Those are good. I love inside jokes. I hate being outside of them, though. Oh, I hate being it's the, worst the worst when you're outside of it. But then when you have an inside joke with somebody, it's the best. It's yeah. the greatest. When you're on the you outside feel like of an, an asshole joke, sometimes. Mm-hmm. When you're on the outside of an inside joke, you like hate jokes. You're like, mm-hmm. oh, this. I bet that's not even funny. That's like not you funny. get so funny. mad. You you're like, about? oh, like fuck. Like literally, what are you even saying? I guarantee it's not funny. Like yeah. just because you're on the outside yeah. and oh, you're you jealous. Two idiots. And then if someone tries to explain the inside joke to you, you're like, that's not funny. Yeah, you're like, oh, haha. Yeah. But it's an inside joke. Oh, good. Wish mm-hmm. I was there first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, jokes that you have with your family. Love. Those are fun. The best. Those are like always long running jokes too. Yes. Right. Like, like years and years. Yes. Well, like me and my brother have a long running go. joke of when the doorbell rings, dropping to the ground and, and hiding. <laughs> and like, it's like funny because we've done it to multiple people in our yeah. family. Yeah. And so it's something we joke, joke about. Yeah. That's like stuff like that. It's just like has to do with the family. That's fun. Or like you have like a joke about an aunt or an uncle, but mm-hmm. you, you say it around. Like I won't, I'm not going to say it, but like. We got a lot of jokes about my aunt and uncles that, that are just running since we were younger. 
And they're always funny. They're never not funny. Yeah. yeah, always. I have an inside joke with my aunt where I call her like stupid bitch. That's my thing. So in all <laughs> my Facebook posts for like her birthday or like Mother's Day, like second mom thing, I'll post like, happy birthday, you stupid fucking bitch. And like all the comments will be, oh my God, like what the fuck? And Who like, is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you, stupid fucking bitch. It's awesome. <laughs> love it. Love it. My, I have inside jokes with my Nana where I know when she's being like bitchy, but she, she's like, oh, hmm, seems interesting. And that's always her like being a bitch mm-hmm. all the time. Sarcastic. It's funny when you see old people being bitchy openly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I always think that's kind of silly. They stay bitchy. Stay Love bitchy. It. People don't change. People nah. don't change. Stay bitchy. Uh, dark jokes. That's my, that's my favorite. I love, love a dark joke. I love I a joke that makes me so it. uncomfortable that I like might throw up. Like I love a joke. Like I that. love out of pocket jokes. Yeah, me too. Where, I love where you it. have to look to see if you can laugh because you're like, yes. I want to laugh. You're like, so oh fuck. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it the yeah. best when you get one off and the room erupts with nothing laughter? Better. There's nothing oh, yes. better because it could go it could go south. You could say a joke, it could go horribly, and people would just be like, why the fuck did you say that? Mm-hmm. But when you get one off and people all understand that you're joking, mm-hmm. great feeling. Best feeling. Couldn't agree more. Dad jokes. Sometimes they hit. I don't like. Sometimes. I'm not Sometimes a, they hit. It I depends think, who delivers it. Right. If I'm hungover, dad joke hits 100 times out of 100. Mm, like yeah. if I'm hungover, I'm like, oh, uh, uh, I feel like everything is funnier when you're hungover just in general. Yeah. If one of my friends makes a joke, it's like an on purpose, ironic dad joke. I'm like peeing my pants. Yeah. For no it, reason. You're right. It depends on the person. Yeah. If you're being situation. ironic about it, it's funny. Yes. Mm-hmm. But say. just when guys think their whole persona is telling dad jokes. Worse. No. Because mm-hmm. you're just straight up not funny. Yeah. Totally agree. Like, you know when a girl's like, ah, I just love his stupid dad jokes. No, I hate that joke. No. I hate it. Bitch, I want him to be actually actually funny. Yeah, they they actually think the dad jokes are fucking hilarious. Are actual jokes. Right now. And it's like, no, we're kind of laughing at you. Yeah. Exactly. I'm funnier than you. I don't like dad jokes. Guy or girl, don't make dad jokes your personality. Like, don't Mm -hmm. don't let that be your thing. Like, that's Mm -hmm. just a, it's just lame. Keep it to the dads. Um, Jokes that you have just with your friends or with like a friend group. The best, just your whole other language. Right, whole Everyone other language. Has a different language. Jokes about you can joke yeah. about like people. My favorites are always when we talk shit about people from high school or people from college. Mm-hmm. Like when we just mm-hmm. reference people going back and forth, and especially if other people are around, it's like they oh, won't understand. Anything. Right, they have no idea. It's like that sucks. You don't understand, but you have no idea how fucking funny this is yeah. right now. Like this is the funniest shit of all time. Right, and it just makes you feel so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. you really truly think your friend group is the funniest in the fucking world. But mm-hmm. every friend group thinks that. Right, always. Some are just so not funny though. Oh yeah. You ever been around a friend Absolutely. group that you're just like, you guys are not funny? Because I've been yes. around a lot of friend groups. I'm like, oh, you're fucking funny. Yeah. This is a funny friend group. Also been around people who think they're the funniest people ever, and it, it it's it painful. Hurts. It's painful. It's so it's yeah. so painful. It's so that's crazy painful. That has different humor. And also friend groups that that have no humor at all. Like they're just like. It's, it's they just lovely, hang I'm out. sure. They just hang out and they're, year, and they're like, genuine oh, friends. How do you sit around and like talk, but we're not laughing? There's right. no jokes involved? Exactly. There's it's no like all laughing? the all the serious shit from Sex and the City without even the like, mm. cool, like quick little one-liners, like with no Samantha. Yeah. That just sounds so boring. I don't think I'm ever serious with my friends. Me ever. neither. I don't well, think I'm ever. If I don't, it comes to point, it. No, yes. Yeah. Yeah. If we have a serious conversation. Yeah. But majority of the time, I think I'm fucking around at all times. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. that's what you're supposed to do with friends. You're not yeah. supposed to walk around and be no. like, oh. Right. I have life. to be so serious. Even your like, core group of oh. people. Like, I'll, oh. shit gets serious hey. sometimes. <laughs> 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 Should we, uh, are there more jokes? Um, I only have one more question. How important do you think humor is when you're trying to date somebody? 100 percent they have to be funny I this is the only that. thing i care about same same truly the one and only like only everything thing. else i can discount mm-hmm. like if uh, there's a level of like are you a total fucking troll but also mm-hmm. that level is much lower based on humor you got to be entertaining of some sort yes funny. Yeah. i don't yes. care if you're the hottest person in the world oh. mm-hmm. if, if you're if just you're, like sitting there and you don't get my jokes you're not telling any jokes uh, oh it's boring like, you're gonna no, you could be so hot but then you have no personality and all of a sudden i don't find you that hot yeah. yeah, it's a turn off. Big Huge turn off. Um, do you I guys agree with me? I would much rather this? somebody be funny than like super hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's hotter when you're funny. Do you guys yeah. agree with me on this or do I stand alone in thinking that I definitely want like somebody funny in my life, but I don't necessarily want them to be funnier than me? I like that. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Like, I want to always be the star. Not not overly. Like, they can be big. They can be like funny. Ha ha. Everybody mm-hmm. can be like, oh, we're hysterical, hysterical, whatever. Deep down, I want them all to know that I'm the funnier one. I, down, I get I what think you're saying. I'm funnier than everyone. So, so do like, I, which is why I want why this. That's why that can never happen in my head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, want, I, I want. I <laughs> want. 
my man to be really funny. Me too. I want him. I want. I want you me want to, to be laughing. Outshine you not outshine me when we're around <laughs> people. Like back and forth. Together, but back and forth. Yes, and an true. equal amount of. Yeah. An equal we're team. really funny together. Yes. Yes. What are what's like a funny a funny couple like that? I oh, think d- Jenna Marbles and her boyfriend. They're so funny they're together, they are really funny. Together. No one sees them anymore. You and Nick. Post. Yeah. Yeah, you and Nick are you guys good. are funny. funny. You're we're like funny. you're like casually funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What uh? I'm trying to think of jokester couples. Um, you know who is a really good jokester couple, but they're like fake, not even a couple. Is like B J Novak and Mindy Kaling. Oh, they're so Blake funny. Lively and Ryan Reynolds. Chrissy, oh, they're pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Chrissy Teigen and John Legend are kind of funny. I think that they're funny together. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of funny, but I could see Chrissy crying about those jokes, low key. Well, we know that she does. <laughs> yeah. She like told us she does. So she. Um, Ryan sorry. Reynolds and Blake Lively. They're yeah, a, good, a good, one. good one. They're a good couple. Oh my God! You know who? Um, Jason Biggs and Jenny Mullen. Yes, they are. So we just had Jason funny. Biggs on Chicks in the Office, and he was awesome. They are yeah. so fucking oh, funny. Did you really? Was he doing something yeah. new lately? He has a new show. Oh, on, fantastic! Yeah. Good, good for him. Show. Love Melissa him. Melissa McCarthy. I don't know her husband's name, but she oh my puts God, they're so movies. funny. They're fucking hilarious. Yes, they are really good. Uh, Air Marshal John. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like what he is in Bridesmaids. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, oh yeah. They are really good. funny together they, they are. are really funny together and i forget that now because i'm clouded with the fact that like their kids they don't bathe their kids or yeah, whatever d- remember the video they put out though of them with their kids yeah that was hysterical that was so funny yeah, so it was really funny they, like, don't give a fuck the quotes from that and they're like yeah we don't we don't bathe until we see dirt it's kind of fucking hilarious well, it, it is you, it's because really i can funny. see them delivering that line in a funny yeah. way and they do deliver it well like they that's they really in video that. no. no they definitely don't but that's in video they're like we don't like oh until we see dirt whatever like it's very clear that they're you know a little tongue-in-cheek with it but people just, people love a headline, you know? People yeah. do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That they do. All right. Do we want to bring in the people? Yes. Yeah, yeah, let's start bringing in some people. All right. Who do we want to bring in first? All right. First up for the Glass Cage Joke Show. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a tough one. <laughs> that was a tough the Glass one. Cage Glass Joke Cage Show. Show. The Glass Joke Cage Show. Joke Show is the one, the only, Francesca Noel Ooh. Mariano. Yeah. Oh. Ready, girl. Give it up. This is her first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is her first set, everyone. This yeah. is her first yeah. set. It's my first time on because we got high. Thank you for having yes. me. Yes, thank you for coming you on. Here. It's a goddamn pleasure. <laughs> we got time. a big audience of Trent. <laughs> so shout out to the audience. Shout out to the we audience. The and page, everyone's watching. We are. He's on deck. We will be grading the joke. Oh, we're grading. We're grading. The, I mean, why oh, else? Yeah, we gotta grade the, the joke. ABC. Okay, I like that. Nobody's ever grading things on that level A through F anymore. Yeah. I Let's do bring that. It back. Let's bring it back. It's back yeah, to yeah, school. Yeah. Back okay. to school. I'm excited because my joke is terrible. I think <laughs> fantastic. How about this? Do we all give our own grade, or we all come up with one together? Can we give our own? Okay. I say we give our own. Let's we give all, our own. Yeah. We have a different humor levels. True. Okay. All right, Franny, she's up. <laughs> all right, everyone. Clap. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I today I have brought for you a knock knock joke. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you. And it's very on brand for me, and it goes like this. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Urine. Urine, Urine who? who? You're insecure. <laughs> Don't know what for. <laughs> Wait, that's awesome. Wait, that was a good one. <laughs> Thank you. That was really good. I honestly did not know what to expect. Wait, I was like, neither did I. And that was awesome. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Who's going first? Agree. Fran, that was but great. Remember first one, so. Yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah. Go, yeah. don't get too crazy. Who's going to go first? I'll go first. Okay. 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 I love the joke. I think Thank it you. was I think it was great. But what I would like to see from you next time if you do this joke for anyone. What I what would have gave me an A is if you hit it with the you're insecure. You sang the whole the whole line like a face straight face. Yeah. You're insecure. Don't know what for. <laughs> and don't break a smile. That would have been an A plus for me. Fair. So I'm, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go B minus. Thank you. B minus. B minus with a little bit of constructive criticism. Thank yeah. you, Brianna. Rhea? I was going to go B minus. Okay. So I'm going to continue with that as well. And I would like to see you have a little more confidence in your joke. (laughs) It was a great, it was a great joke. Say it with your chest. Fair. Okay. All right. Another, uh, another bout of constructive criticism. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Did not really know I was coming on here again. I didn't know either. I didn't know either. I didn't know we were criticizing. this was just... Tell your joke and you're okay. out. Yeah, you're all right. Okay. Oh, we loved the joke, though. It was great. We, you hear my laugh at that? We all busted up. I erupted. All right. all right. I got no jokes. That was funnier than anything I'll come up with right now. I'm going to give your not touch joke a solid B. I Thank think you, it Kelly. was good. The delivery was silly. I laughed. Yeah. It's I didn't know where you were going. It's hard to deliver a joke like that. Did you, did you just make that up? No. I didn't know. I didn't know where you were going with it. I love the One Direction reference. Yeah. Appreciate Thank that. Thank you. Solid B. Yeah. I've, I've had that one in my back pocket for a while. Is <laughs> One Direction, like One Direction fans use that joke. You often. knew th- you knew this was coming. 
Yeah, I'm just waiting for yes. my moment. Yeah. All right, Fran, so you crushed your first it. one up. Yeah. Thank you, guys. All right, thank you, Trent. No pressure, Francesca, but all the pressure. Francesca, would you mind joining the audience now for Trent? Oh. I would love to. Trent! Trent. Trent. And Trent, next up man. in the Glass Cage Comedy Show, Ooh. we have Trent. Oh, okay. Trent Ryan, to be exact. I'm sitting on a piece of paper. Okay, okay. how's that going? That's I don't think okay. it has anything to do with us. It's so. crunchy. All right. <laughs> it you, won't be long. You so. using a phone up there? Well, no. Come no. Um, <laughs> it looks no, like you can. You can. So Just a question. Kelly came up to me yesterday and said, hey, 24 hours from now, will you come on the show and do a joke? And I said, sure. And I thought about the joke, like what I was going to do for all the 24 hours in between before I sat down right here. Mm -hmm. And what I didn't do was Google jokes before I walked in here on my phone. And now I'm going to not read off what I read <laughs> on Google. Okay. <laughs> Because I thought about this joke all night. Right. 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 Like so I said, been, you came up been, with this I've one. been preparing. Yeah, you've been preparing. You've been thinking about this joke that you're about to read from your phone, not Google. That I did not night. Google as I walked from my yeah. desk yeah, into yeah, the yeah. radio studio. You didn't do any of that, and no. you're about to read it to us. Trent, okay. let us know your original joke. I would love to hear it. Here we go. Enter the stage, Strong. What do you call a boomerang that won't come back? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, Trent. What, what do you call? A stick. <laughs> I'll be honest. Thought, thought about that for 24 hours. <laughs> I couldn't even really fake I it with that. I don't even get it. <laughs> that, it's, it's just a stick. It's just straight. <laughs> it's just a stick. It's just a stick. Just a I hate it. it. Okay. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. I mean, yeah, that was... Uh, oh, man. Frank, no. come back I kinda, up here. I tell hate it tell so not that, that joke I again. Like I kind of hate it so much in my like it. Kelly laughed immediately. I laughed because it was stupid. <laughs> it was so I stupid. I couldn't help it. I thought about that for... I, That's what... Yeah. Like, yeah. No. All right. All right. All right. Right. Let's grade it. Remember, keep in mind that Trent did put a lot of work into this. He's been thinking hours. about it for 24 Two, hours four. straight. So well, think about that when grading this joke that he didn't read from his phone. Okay. All yeah. right. Let me Brianna? start off again. All right. It was so it's so bad that it was kind of good. Like it wraps right back there, around. There's to no that, meaning. Yeah. There's nothing. It's just literal. I like literal jokes, <laughs> but it wasn't as good as Fran's. I think I'm gonna have to go solid C. Solid C. Solid C. Lowest you can go in this in this grading yeah, that process. Is, that is the lowest you can <laughs> no, go. C minus. Or no, no, you can go. Oh, that's lower. true. F. I, I forgot I'll, about that. I, I was gonna go D minus. I think F is. Yeah. Oh, we're going F is down. Lowest. We're doing like we're doing ABC. school grades. We're no, doing like no, school, school grades, grades like A B C D E F. All the way F. down. Okay. Or D F. D I guess. F. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that is weird. They skipped E's. That is weird. I thought that I thought it was A B C. I thought that was what you no, guys. School A B C D and F. No, I know that, but I thought you guys had agreed that C was the lowest. We were just. I was under that impression. Mm. Too. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. why in school did they cut out the E? That's a great question. And something that we should dive into at a e later could, date. It looks like exceptional. Excellent. Uh, yeah, it's like a good word, but it would be a bad. Word. Right. Anyways, D minus. <laughs> I have no constructive criticism for you. Okay. I'll I'll take that in. Consider it. Okay. Um I'm gonna give that joke man. It was tough. I did laugh. We all heard me chuckle. I you can't did. deny that I did that. So bad. It, it was more did. of a I can't believe how bad that was kind of laugh. Mm -hmm. I'll go D plus though because I like you, Trent. Thank you. And I appreciate you putting in all that thought for 24 hours. Yeah, I really try. I'm hard. being yeah. mean because I'm flirting. <laughs> <laughs> She's negging you. <laughs> wow, right. Rhea, don't neg Trent on the show. Yeah. All right, thanks, Trent. Yeah, thanks cool. for having me. Are we? Wait, we didn't appreciate applaud that. Trent. Do we applaud him? Oh yeah. Oh. I mean, it takes a lot to tell a joke. It, it does. does take a lot. Thank you. Yeah, it takes no a lot of courage to stand up here and tell the joke, so we thank you both for coming in at this time. Thank you. Oh, Roan is going to tell a joke? <gasps> Nervous. Roan, we did not want to bother you. Roan. We thought you were too good for this. Roan. Yeah. Where can I sit? Right, right there. there. Right here. Ladies, this is oh this gosh. is quite the moment oh for us. God. We have right. Roan unexpectedly. Yeah, Thanks for having me, guys. Here. Everyone else we gave Next at least up in the glass cage joke show is Roan. Hey guys. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, so here's my joke. What is the best thing about Switzerland? What is it? What? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yes. That's my time. Thank yes. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Roan. Thank you, Roan. <laughs> wow. How unexpected. Oh, let's get Brandon in here. Brandon. Brandon. Are we going to grade Roans or are we just going to respect them and not respect grade them? No, we respect Roan. A's across the board. Right. Yeah. Roan gets an automatic A no matter what. Brandon. What's up? 
Please sit down. I will sit Take down. A Please seat. sit that have juicy seat. ass down. We'd love Ooh, for you to have a seat. Up. Sweet <laughs> ass down. Yep. Probably uh, the first conversation Brianna and I have ever had. Hello. <laughs> what's up? How are we doing? Wow, it's so nice that we get to be here for your first interaction. All right, what's yeah. up? Oh, you know, not much. We're doing a show about jokes today. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you heard me and Devin running around yesterday asking people to think of jokes ahead of time. I did not. Um, all right, all well, minor dad jokes. That's Thank all right. We need loser. a dad joke in the mix. Would you mind performing a joke for us in our new uh, comedy okay. cellar, which is Lame-o. named The Glass Cage? Do you want me to go over there or you want <laughs> me to right. sit No, right? you're fine right there. Okay. It's called The Glass Cage. This is our, our opening very, night. She's you're the, very, the way she pointed, she's very angry. No, you're good, yeah. Sounds like you're getting insecure Excuse by me, a, don't by treat my friend. Here. Strong yeah. women don't, scare me, yes. Yeah. As don't they should. Don't treat my friend like that. As they should, as they should. Wait, are you talking to her or me? I'm I'm saying you're my friend. Only I could speak to you like that. Yes. True. You fucking bitch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Francis or like that one. <laughs> All right. Francis. Are y'all ready? Okay. Yeah. Yes. We're ready. Let's go. Okay, Lay it on okay, us. Okay. I'm worried about you. You have a bruise on your arm. Is everything good? Um, I do. I actually noticed that this morning. I'm not sure where it came from. Okay. Because that's too high to shoot heroin. Yeah, I know it is. Maybe it's sure. something else. Could All be right. Some hands. Who knows? Yeah. All right. Damn. This you got to keep up with this one because this one's good. Okay. okay. All right. Pete and repeat are in a boat. Okay. Pete fell out. Who's left in the boat? Okay, I'm going to read it again. Uh, okay. Repeat. Pete uh-huh. and repeat are in a boat. Pete fell out. Who's left? Repeat. All right. Okay. I understand this is Pete and repeat <laughs> are in a boat. Pete fell out. Who's left? There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give me one more. Come on. Repeat. What, yeah, repeat. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know it's just dumb bitches in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're okay. really stupid. I think we've got it. Yes. Yeah, so right. I think we've got, we've got it. it. Thank, Thank you, Brendan. That was that was a fantastic dad joke. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, We could have kept going. That was yeah. one for the books. What one are we I'm grading that one a B plus. I'll give it a B plus as well. I hated that so much. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it so much. Yeah, honestly, that was that just was like really Usually, I don't think that Brendan Walker is like my dad right there. Or maybe dad. just it was a dad joke. I was like, shit, my dad is in this room. Like, get out. Please. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought the heroin joke. No, it was funny. Was What's, Jack up? Mac? What's up? What's up, Jack Mac? Up? Come on in. Oh, Come okay, on Jack in. Mac. Okay. We got the gangster. Jack, welcome. In the welcome you, couldn't to, get, you couldn't get Jack number one? Welcome to our comedy club, The Glass Cage. <laughs> yeah, Jack number two is here. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. The Glass Cage. Welcome, welcome. It's our first night. Everybody's given a joke. Yeah. And we're grading it after. You look like a producer. <laughs> like a like a rap producer. yeah 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 you oh, i was yeah. like it's a producer chain. at barstool it's the no. chain Shocking. it's the chain yeah it is the chain, chain. Yeah. looking like a motherfucking say, watch, watch, there, your, watch your eyeballs all right so yeah, i love on. a good chain Jack when Mike. i was in college when i was in college okay um the sorority at my school went to uh africa on one of those like uh to help out uh i think it was i it was a tribe or something okay and but it was a it wasn't an underdeveloped country or tribe. It was a it was a developed tribe, and they had like news stations and whatnot. Okay. And um, okay, and you're, you're during it. no, I know, I know, I know. During uh, the whole thing, they posted on Instagram and whatnot. And then actually, one of the girls that I was kind of friends with, mutual friends, kind of, okay. went to uh, went on the TV station. And then I clicked on the link to watch the entire thing. And then the next up, you know how it would be like one video and then the next video will come. Mm-hmm. And uh, I ruined the joke. It's Imagine I said <laughs> newspaper. Okay. The punchline here is. Okay. <laughs> land, land the plane. They all looked so malnourished and thin. Okay. Said, said Muhammad, age four. Okay. About the sorority girls at the... Uh. <laughs> All right, so that was like a two out of ten. The delivery was awful. Uh, let me think of another I joke. Li- I liked, I no, but honestly, I liked where you were going. The with bones it. were there. Like, it was I liked there. That it was a full I like story. The storytelling. Yes. I love a storytelling yeah. joke. Yeah, and when people too. act like they've been, like they're there, yeah. they're mm-hmm. like, "So I was here." Yeah. Like I like that joke. Uh, yeah, yeah I, it needs a lot of tightening you up. You need as to they work say. on it. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. honestly, we just called you in. Yeah. We didn't give you any preparation. Yeah, you had no notice no whatsoever. And we that told some people 24 hours in advance. Yeah, most oh, okay. people we told that. No, that's yeah. awesome. Um, right. I don't think I have any others, but thanks for having me on. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Woo. Thanks, Jack Mac. Wow. All right, let's rate Jack Mac's joke. I really liked the storytelling. That's I didn't like the punchline yeah. wasn't there, whatever. I he was on the right path. I'm, I'm going to give him a C. Oh, we got KB. Can you tell hey, a KB. joke for us? KB. No, come KB, on. come on. Jack Mac I thought, told a joke. Uh, 
That wasn't going to sell. You Damn. think telling him Jack Mac told the joke was going to get KB to sit yeah, down? But it's like, if Jack Mac can, he can. Oh, Nick's oh, not going to do it. Oh, Glenn, Glenn. Didn't Nick say he would? I don't yeah, know. He did. He said oh, he Nick. would. Both of them Tommy, did. Tommy, all of you, all of you three, three of you. Nick, Nick Tommy, and Glenn. Come on, Nick, come Nick get in here. said yes. We didn't ask Glenn anything yesterday. No jokes? What? Don't walk in with you that attitude. You know what we're talking about. You sit in the audience. You two sit in the audience right now. You said yes to this. We pl- we're here Tommy's to up first. Know about Actually, I'm not up first. I forgot to write a joke. We gave you 24 hours notice. I'm using an old joke. Wait, let's get Frank to do it. Yeah, we'll get Frank. Yeah, Frank. After. No, no, no. Sit yeah, your Frank ass will, down, Frank Nick. Frank will lead us off. <laughs> Frank will go after you No, no, no. Guys. We've already done a bunch of you people. You had 24 hours to By the way. Yeah, we've already had we've, a bunch of people in here. We've had a handful here. of people. We're like a lie. It's not. <laughs> we actually come through. have. You guys well, are the last Jack ones. Jack Mac just sold a joke. So much yeah, so that Jack I was Mac texting, being like, where are you? No one told me to prepare a joke. Yes, I did. I texted no, did. our group chat yesterday. No, you did not. Yes, I did. My phone has been on my our desk for an hour. I've been playing Jenga. No, she did not. Yes, I did. I'll scroll back. Well, I didn't read your texts. All right. Well, then, Glenny. doesn't fuck with you. Would you mind, after these two. I said, guys, can I have your attention for a second? Telling a joke. Just one single joke on the show. After they're done. I, can I go look up a joke? You and while they're doing whatever they're doing, you can, you can look on your phone you if you want. Don't tell us. I don't have my phone. My phone's over there. Okay, get out of here. All right, I got one. <laughs> all right, all right wait, wait till Glenn walks out. We gotta set the scene. All right, all right, yeah, we gotta set the scene. Getting chaotic in here. It is. It's more of a pun. Well, first of all, Tommy, welcome to welcome to our comedy show slash comedy seller named The Glass Cage. This is our first show. We've had joke several show. people come through Glass and tell Cage jokes. Glass Cage is a fucking awesome name. Yeah, we Glass know. Cage. We're well aware. We're well aware. Um, would you please tell us a joke? One single joke. Okay, this is going to be a one-liner. Okay. Um, okay. What would you call a stripper who does sleight-of-hand magic tricks? I don't what? know. Misdirection. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good joke. Okay. It's <laughs> not bad. Laugh, I'm not oh, <laughs> no. We, we've laughed at other ones. I mean, that's brilliant. <laughs> that's you see, because misdirection. Brilliant. So <laughs> yeah. Jokes Explain are better it. when you can give them a little bit of yeah, yeah, yeah. explanation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain it as much uh, as you can. You know, uh, <laughs> sleight of hand magic's all about misdirection. Look here, look here. Yes. A stripper would go by miss, yes. M I S S, and then direction. So, yes. be, oh, coming to the stage tonight, we have misdirection. And then yeah. she, I don't know, rubs a deck Sounds of cards like on her tits. Misdirection. Uh huh. Okay. Right. Yeah. So Anyways, I, I based on before he, Real, before he explained the joke. Right <laughs> oh no! Before Tommy, he explained people the joke. are gonna think I wanna fuck him. You know, I got a DM because of the show. People saying that I got a big crush on Tommy. Yeah, I saw this that. This girl DM me and she was like, it's she not was like, true. can you just can? She, <laughs> no, it's true. But she Why was like, can you, you just tell it? me? It's not true. Like, I won't tell anybody, but my suspicions are really high that you have a crush on Tommy. That's I crazy. just come in a room Damn. and women light up. What can yes. I say? Mm. Okay. Mm. That aside, based on that, uh, based on the joke alone, I think I was going to originally give it like a B minus. After the explanation, I'm going A minus. I loved the, ex- the explanation. Better. Made the joke funnier them. for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. C. C. Damn. Yeah, I was going to. Yeah, I hated it. Really? Damn. What What about it? Do, so maybe you just didn't get it, I <laughs> no, think. I, I got it. <laughs> so it's like Your misdirection, magic yeah. trick. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. confidence in I the delivery. Had, I had higher expectations for you. Mm. Okay. I did too. Well, yeah, I, I had higher expectations of you understanding the joke. So, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I mean, Tommy, anyways. Tommy, we know that like, girls aren't funny, so it's like, don't worry about it. Right. 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 Yeah, it yeah, would have yeah, been yeah. more insulting if you guys thought it was funny. Yeah, so exactly. I gotta rework True. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, thank you, Tommy, for your Thank you, Tommy. 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 You, you can say for the audience. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, audience. Please. Nikki my mic, T. My mic's not on. Yeah, you have to sit there. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So please uh, remove yourself and place yourself in the audience what? nick hello welcome to yeah. the glass cage thank you for hey guys thank you for having me i really wanted to be here yeah we know that you we did. know That's specifically why we pulled off you off the street for this <laughs> yeah you did however have 24 hours notice i'm really nervous um, did you think of a joke for us yeah i just i just went through some of my old tweets and okay, i picked cool, cool. one okay. that i can Don't tell all right us. let's let's go all right tell us where I, the magic comes let's from about it. cut that um <laughs> you guys know that movie uh dear john <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> I bet you a lot of dyslexic farmers thought they were going to go see a movie about tractors. <laughs> <laughs> what? John Deere. <laughs> the fucking... The tractor company. That's good. Thanks, that guys. Good. That was a good one. <laughs> okay, cool. That was, that was good. That was, that was good. a good one. Nice I, get, I give... Uh, <laughs> Thanks, guys. B. Oh, cool. man. <laughs> B. Thank you. Yeah. Solid. I can't decide what, what kind of score... So I feel like, like I said, I, if I gave Tommy an A minus with that, but the explanation was so funny. I think I have to give you a solid A, the only A I've given. 
Fuck yeah. That was a good joke. So Fuck I should have yeah. explained it. Yeah. No, no. That, no, that no, needed no, no explanation. Okay. You don't that needed don't no explain explanation. It. You're good. No Thank explanation needed. Thank, Thank you for that. We Thank very you. much appreciate your participation. Yeah. Next up, Glenny Balls from Long Island. Welcome to the Glass Cage Joke Show. Please tell us your joke. Okay. So I got this joke. I thought of it myself. Totally did not get it from a TV show or anything. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Reading it right now. So a rich man and a poor man are buying the Christmas gifts for their slow wives. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> you slow know down. I talk fast. Enunciate. A rich man and a poor man are buying Christmas gifts for their wives. The rich man buys his wife an enormous diamond ring and a brand new Mercedes. The poor man asks, why'd you get her a ring and a car? To which the rich man replies, so that if my love is not happy with the ring, she still has a nice car to keep her happy. And the poor man then goes and buys his wife a pair of slippers and a dildo. The rich man asks, why don't you buy your wife a pair of slippers and a dildo? Then the poor guy goes, if she doesn't like the slippers, then she can go fuck herself. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, uh, okay. Totally thought that myself, yeah. That was didn't that was love, one. didn't love. Yeah, long. that was a that was a good I didn't like your a delivery. long joke. I, I don't know, you talk really fast. Okay? I do talk, I always talk fast. No, I, I, I thought he wasn't there. Was I, were we trying to do like good delivery? Yeah, I mean, I'm reading a, a yeah, joke a off. Bit. I'm reading it off a Reddit post. It is the glass Don't case tell joke us show. where. No, he posted it though. It was your post. Yeah, it was it was my post. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. That wasn't uh, wasn't bad. Thank you to all of our uh, glass cage comedy show participants. Let's get into some voicemails. Yes. All right, ladies. Let's get into the voicemails. Brought to you by CBDMD. Let us start with uh, hating jokes, Noah. Hey, bitches. Um, I'm calling in about jokes. My name is Randy with two E's. Um, I'm calling in about jokes because unpopular opinion, I do not fucking like jokes. I actually hate them. And I think there's a way to be funny without telling jokes. Um, number one biggest pet peeve ever. I work at a coffee stand. Um, when my customers come through and there's six cars behind them and they like want to be quirky and say something that they think is funny. When it's not. And it's actually just annoying. This girl hates um, fun. No, it's <laughs> better. I think all of you guys are super funny. And I actually embarrassingly think that you guys are my friends. Like, I look forward to this. Like, I, as if we're, like, all chatting together. But you don't even know who I am. Anyway, that's my opinion on jokes. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to be negative. I just think that there's... <laughs> Um, funnier things than horrible jokes. I so. hate fun. <laughs> Maybe if the timing is better. Anyways, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. And party hard. We'll see you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I kind of get the angle a little I bit. I think, here's okay. what I think our girl, our girl is dealing with. I think she just had a, a lousy day at work with a lot of quirky, <laughs> stupid, annoying bad people. Bad jokes, yeah. Telling bad jokes all day long. And maybe she's been left out of a few inside jokes lately. I think it that does she's, sound that yeah. way. I think she's just having a bad time with jokes. It sounds like she <laughs> may be the butt of some jokes lately and yeah. she's not happy about Shit's it. Shit's not going but right like, in the joke department I for her. Hate jo I, I'm more of like a funny story gal. Like I, yes. So yeah. I don't know. Sometimes jokes suck. Yeah, it if, if yes. they're bad, like if if we were hanging with people and they just told jokes like that all day, like we just had. Oh, that'd be miserable. Be yeah, like, that'd be that would suck. Right. suck. So yeah, kind of get it, but like c c try to enjoy some jokes. Mm -hmm. It also sounds like maybe maybe there's someone in her life that she doesn't like that jokes around all the time. Yeah. That's how I talk about somebody when yeah. if I, if somebody around me is like fucking up or like doing something that's annoying me, it'll like something like this situation will bring it up and I'll get triggered in two seconds yeah. and it'll all suddenly I'm like talking about what's actually happening in my life always. All right, let's go to Joke Stealer. Hi, ladies. Love you all. Um, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet and say the worst thing on planet Earth is when you say a joke and, and like in a group of people and you think it's really funny and nobody hears you. But then that one person <laughs> heard you, repeats it, so then everybody else hears it and everybody laughs and they like stole your joke and then, yeah, um, that's it. Rip. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst. The worst. I feel like that happens to me all the time. Me and maybe too. that's just like me being a narcissist or something. But mm -hmm. like, I feel like I'm always saying shit. And then someone fucking steals my joke, my joke right in my face. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I just said or, that. Or when you say when you say something, someone tweets it. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst. It's just, and you're like, oh, I fucking said that out loud. It's like, yeah. I just fucking said that. It's oh, so, it's so credit. irritating. Give me my credit. Right, mm -hmm. give credit. Do you guys give credit to people when you retell jokes? Yeah, well... It depends on the situation. I almost am always being like, so and so said the other day the funniest thing because I feel guilty taking <laughs> yeah. credit for yeah, someone else's joke. I don't like yes. taking jokes. I don't like it either. I think mm. it's this I think it's annoying. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Oh shit! I thought you just hit your head. No, no, I'm okay. okay. 
the angle I'm looking at you, it looked like you slammed your forehead directly on the microphone. And I was like, are you okay? Fold her down. All right. The last voicemail we have up, uh, Helen Keller, please, Noah. <laughs> hey, girls. So it's been a minute since I've called, but I'm back with one very, very crude joke. Um, all right. Here we go. That's very short. So how did Helen Keller's parents punish her? They left the plunger in the toilet. Did I hang up? Was that too short? Did I explain it? Well, got <laughs> fucking ass fucked. Poor Helen. Anyways, love the show. Bye, girls. That was good. So yeah, so I included that joke because I feel like that was a that was a really standard like dirty joke in yes. the fourth grade. Like yeah. it was like mm-hmm. a, ooh, and where if you didn't know what it meant, like you didn't know shit. Like that mm-hmm. was one of those things that you yeah. tested out. Like what do you know? You know when you would ask mm-hmm. people like, oh, um. Like, I know what sex is, but, like, you explain it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah. that kind of shit. Yes, that's, that's that kind yes. of joke. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Where it's my like, God. Oh, do you get the joke? Oh, that was the worst. <laughs> anal is the joke. Surprise yes. anal, which is not great. But, you know, whatever. Helen <laughs> Keller, rest in peace if you're even real. <laughs> that about wraps up the voicemails, I'd say. If you'd like to call in for your own, it is 551-258-3436. Well, I've been a good.